this video is about understanding timers so we have two types of timers although we have many types but here in this video we'll see we'll learn we'll understand two types of timers okay so timers we know that when we give time delays in some outputs in some events we need some time delays so that we use the timers so how to use those timers let's take an input let's have an object let's let's say that i want an output I want an output to be on after five seconds or three seconds or two seconds whatever it may be and I need some delay in that so how to do that so in that case I'm using i1 as my input and q q1 as my output so in in this case I need some delay so I won't use q1 here okay I'll put a timer here the timer will come as t1 sorry t1 timer okay now, how to give time delay to this timer, we'll come to that later on. But before that, let's take the contact of this TT1, which will be on after 5 seconds, okay? In that case, I'll take this T1 over here. and connecting this like this. So now, after 5 seconds, this will turn on this outputs to turn on the Q1. It will turn on its own contact. So now, how to enter this 5 seconds? So you have to double click this one. So you'll see this chart over here. We'll go to function A. We are going to use this timer as function A. We have various functions here. We'll come to this other functions one by one. So this function A says active control head down. Now what does it mean? It will be active if the control, control is I1. Held down means when control is closed or when the control is giving a supply. Okay, control can be I1, it can be any other control. So as soon as, uh, you know, as long as it is getting the signal from its back and this counter will be active. It will it will get deactive if this contact is closed. So we have some units here. Seconds, seconds, minutes, seconds, hour, minutes, and hour. So I'm taking the second and I have to enter here five seconds. So it will be zero, zero, 005. Okay. So this is a delay. We have to put delay here. And this is my timer A, function A, person. Okay. So this is my active five second delay or you can also you know relate this to on delay timer which we do in Siemens Ellen Ridley and Delta we will see we have on delay timer so it's quite similar to that so let's go to simulation mode now you have this as an input I1 output Q1 and this is this is this window come from here function blocks sorry from here this is monitoring monitoring the time so this is the timer T1 which I'm using here a is a timer function, active control held down. It is written here already. Preset. This is a preset time, 5 seconds. Current time or you can say that accumulator. Accumulated time, preset time. And this is not locked. So let's just run this one. Now I'm going to press this I1. You'll find timing starts here. Okay, 3 seconds, 4 seconds at 5. Output is on. Okay, so I1. Timer 5 seconds and output Q1. So if I release this I1 timer will get reset okay cumulative time is not equal to 5 so when this time become equivalent this bit gets on t1 i'll show you again pressing this input timer is activated timer is start counting the time and after 5 seconds this become equal label t1 is true so this is getting on and this is turning on the output so that's the simple type of timer on delay timer active control held down so now let's move to the other type now on the second time, I'm using the function small a, active press to start. Now you can find here, this needs just a single pulse to get started. You just need a single pulse. What does it mean? So I'm coming back to here. Now the timer has been changed. Okay. I can write here just for the pulse type. I'm just giving my own name to name this timer. Pulse time, 5 second on delay. Going to simulation, going to run. Now if I press this just once, it will start counting. Okay, like this. Now I just press this and release it, and it has started counting. And after 5 seconds, it will turn on D1. Okay, which will turn on the output, Q1. So that's how, you know, you can use this timer. If you are using a push button to give a delay, you should use this one, this one timer, active press to start stop. If you're using a toggle switch to give a delay, you can use this one as well, but the other one as well. This is used only in case if you have just one pulse as an input to latch the timer. So this is a special type of timer. Now the question is how to stop the output. There is no functions available here, no ladder logic here to stop the output. For that, 
we will reset the timer. Okay. To reset the timer, I'll take another input, I2. And here, I'll take this reset function. This will reset the output. This will reset the time, accumulator time. So now you'll see that, giving a pulse, timer has started. Let's start counting. Now, the moment it reaches 5, now using I3, sorry, I2, it is going to reset T1. Okay, it will reset this current time like this. So if this time is 0, these are unequal, output will be off. Again, you can also reset in between if you want. Like this has started, I'm going to reset it like this. Otherwise, you can reset after your mission has been accomplished. Your output is on. Like this, you have reset. So this is about uh, the another different type of timer, pulse type with on delay. So in further videos, we'll see next two different functions of the timer.